Very bulking. Is it a waste of time? Hey, what is up, Fit Fam? Uh, it's Progressive Transformation here, Celso, and today we're talking about dirty bulking versus lean bulking to see if dirty bulking is actually something you should do. First, let's talk about the differences of dirty bulking versus lean bulking. Dirty bulking is usually when you eat a large caloric surplus of 500 calories or more than your maintenance level. And lean bulking is when you stick to the caloric surplus of around 5-10% to of your maintenance cal uh, calories, which would be for most men around 250k uh, cal kilocalories. Calories. But most people actually think when they think about dirty bulking of people eating a lot of pizza, ice cream, drinking beer, going for the cookies. Look, nah. And when they imagine lean bulking, they think they, they eat lean, they eat clean, you know? They eat broccoli, 5 kilos of it every meal rice, chicken breasts, nah guys, it's literally only a difference of caloric circle. Now, why is it that dirty bulking is a waste of time in most uh, natural bodybuilders? And yeah, you heard me right, I did say natural, and that is because if you are enhanced or uh, taking steroids, you can do whatever the f*** you want. So, why dirty bulking isn't a good idea? To explain it, I will make this as concise as possible. First reason, your body fat goes up a lot. And believe me, the physique that you get, the, the look you have, isn't the least of your problems. And when fat goes up, it actually accelerates, accelerates fat storage and decreases muscle growth. Fantastic. And this happens because as your body fat percentage rises, your insulin sensitivity drops. And higher insulin resistance means a couple of bad things. Your ability to burn fat uh, decreases. Your likelihood of gaining weight ding, 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 increases. And um, sherry on top is that your protein protein <laughs> is that your protein synthesis goes down also so basically the more sensitive your body is to insulin the easier it is to synthesize muscle and to prevent excessive weight loss in the form of fat of course also when fat goes up testosterone goes down and estrogen goes up now, since testosterone is the primary hormone that promotes muscle growth and estrogen promotes uh, fat storage, I think you can see where we're going, yeah. So actually, there was a study made named the effects of nutritional intervention on body composition and performance in elite athletes where 39 uh. athletes were randomized to either a nutritional counseling group or a ad libitum group. The ad libitum, uh, ad libitum group had an average of 3600 calories, where the controlled group had an average of 2900 calories. Now, this study actually compares a large caloric deficit with a moderate caloric deficit. And they actually found that with the larger caloric deficit in comparison to the moderate caloric deficit, the only actual difference was the larger caloric deficit was substantially fatter. Fat. And the muscle mass gain difference between the two of the two groups was of very little significance. Oh yeah, dirty bulking isn't really that good. The difference in muscle you will end up building is uh, negligible and you will have a hard time to drop out the extra weight. And this is it guys, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I really do hope that you guys are doing alright in this quarantine. I know this can be frustrate, uh, for, for, uh, for, uh, for a frustrating, frustra yeah, frustrating time to a lot of you. Uh, trust me, I know how it feels being stuck at home. It isn't nice, but we'll all get through this. And I bet we will all get through this and end up stronger than when we actually came into this experience. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a subscribe and ring the notification bell down below and uh, have a nice one guys <laughs>